Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Tuesday's trading session, the uh, 10th of uh, January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com, or you can download the app, which is probably the best option at Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of numbers, we have the Asian markets uh, mixed. We have the Nikkei down uh, to a large extent, although the Hang Seng was higher. Uh, and the uh, Shanghai certainly lower. So for my summation, really, it's uh, about a, a potential risk aversion trade there in, uh, flowing from the Asian markets and obviously US markets overnight as well, certainly uh, with the S&P down eight points or eight handles. Now, European markets at present, you have the FTSE continuing its march regardless. Um, we did have stronger retail sales overnight and uh, we also had Morrison's earnings certainly uh, helping the uh, the sentiment there to a large extent. Other than that, there really has been nothing of any major importance from the European markets. Yes, we did get uh, industrial output and uh, production from uh, France, which was on the stronger side. Uh, more focus was really on the uh, CPI data overnight from China, certainly coming on the weaker side. Okay, so uh, CPI coming in at 2.1% annually and 0.2% uh, monthly. Certainly on the slightly weaker side, obviously, we already know that Chinese growth is certainly going to be uh, manipulated or controlled in order to uh, achieve the uh, goal of a stable uh, uh, economic policy going forward. Okay, now in terms of uh, European markets at present, you have the FTSE up 30 points at 7270. The DAX uh, back up uh, 22 points, 11,590 almost. CAC 4890. So we'll certainly look at the technical picture given the fact that uh, the onus really is on um, currencies at present with the, uh, the sterling certainly holding uh, and defending that 1.21 level. We have the euro approaching the 1.06 level which again is considered to be risk aversion. Okay now let's have a look at um, the technical picture here. So German DAX first and foremost. Okay, so German DAX again still making that lower high. Okay, so coming into potential turbulence here. We did actually hold support at 11,530. Uh, daily chart at the moment really is just consolidating now. This consolidation can either be a one, one of two things. You have consolidation and then obviously a rip higher. Okay, which is very unlikely given the fact that the euro chart, if I bring up the euro USD, and really like I said, it's all about inverse to the, uh, the actual euro. It certainly has hit 1.0625 this morning and obviously retreated. So daily chart at the moment you have a potential inverted head and shoulders which I've already explained on the euro and given the fact that we've made a base at 1.036 now and we're starting to look to move higher especially with the dollar index certainly uh, looking very uh, overbought from my perspective okay now <clears throat> back to the German DAX okay so again either consolidation here and to new highs or consolidation here and we fail and we start to reverse okay Moving on to the 60 minute chart, again, it's all about lower highs on the German DAX, as you can see here. Um, everything is lower highs, okay? So, no real uh, test of that uh, double top at 11.630, and it's all about lower highs. Moving on to the 10 minute chart, the German DAX certainly has retraced and uh, certainly has managed to uh, claw back its uh, losses to a large extent. So, for now, we're just fo fo focusing on this small pattern here with the double, bo double top, bo double bottom, sorry, 11.530. And the German DAX obviously uh, trading back at the highs or the start of the day. So we did actually start off around the 11,600 level. We sold off, closed the gap, sold off to hit a pivot low of uh, around 11,545. Uh, and then obviously we've rallied ever since. So you are going to see resistance here at 11,600 and then 11,605, 11,610. So looking for risk aversion here. Okay. In terms of oil, oil remains weak, back at $52, potentially breaking on the verge of breaking 52 Copper has started to rally and metals have rallied. Uh, miners certainly are benefiting from the uh, China capacity cuts Okay, in terms of steel and iron, and that certainly is helping the miners to a large extent in terms of prices. Okay, Hence the reason why the FTSE is certainly catching a bit, um, it's got a blip higher. But again, circumspect with Brexit concerns in the background, uh, Sterling certainly holding that support level. Okay, let me just bring up GBP USD. Unfortunately, I don't have it. I don't know why I don't have it. I should have it. I'm sure, I'm sure I've saved it a few times. Okay, so GBP USD. Let's make sure I save it on this occasion. Let's go to here. Click on save. That's fine. Okay, so uh, daily chart <coughs> of sterling holding that double bottom line. Okay, around the 1.2130 to 1.2090. 
I think we've hit a pivot low of 1.2104 this morning. So again, looking for a double bottom on, on sterling and the double bottom were to hold, then you are looking at a potential sell-off in the FTSE 100, okay? Now, moving on to the French CAC, daily chart again remains weak, bearish, engulfing, etc., etc. Um, topping tail certainly is whole held. The lower high certainly is much, much weaker compared to a German DAX. As you can see here, it's an inside bar on the French CAC looking to consolidate and then looking to potentially flush lower down to that 4860, 4850, which I've been waiting for for some time now. Okay, so if I take the pivot high, connect it to the, pivot, the next pivot, you are looking at a lower high and therefore looking for a lower low thereafter. Okay, so that's basically what, our, what I'm anticipating and what I'm expecting, okay, in terms of French CAC. 10 minute chart really is all over the place. I mean, you've um, certainly built a base here, so that certainly needs to be respected around the um, uh, 4870. Okay, so again, looking to 4870 now as potential resistance. Just taking the pivot high here, connecting the pivot highs together. Okay, so again, if it comes to that 4900 zone, certainly is a shorting opportunity for me. Okay, so looking for further weakness. FTSE 100 daily chart, it's very hard to argue against uh, the FTSE daily chart. I mean, it's certainly ripping higher. Even the weekly chart, it's hard to argue. It's just basically constant rip higher to all time highs. It's, uh, it's it's not looking back at the moment. So again, from a large time, longer term perspective, yes. I mean, one could argue that you are looking at a potential break higher. Are fundamentals confirming it? Not, we're not certainly not with oil at 52. So certainly not confirming it. Um, again, the RSIs on the 60 minute chart and the stochastic certainly extremely extremely overbought. But they've been overbought since we were at 7220, 7200, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So. Again, take that with a pinch of salt, okay? But again, uh, as many arguments you have to short the market, the better, really, okay? So again, look, certainly looks like extended to me, RSI, stochastic, certainly oversold, sorry, overbought, okay, into overbought territory, approaching the R3 resistance now. I've put my stop loss at uh, 7.310 on my FTSE short, uh, taking it at 7.270, okay? So looking to potentially move lower back down to the 7.240 zone and potentially lower. So. Again, let's see how this plays out. Now, the FTSE miners certainly into resistance, FTSE oil and gas into resistance. Uh, now, especially with the commodity sector into resistance, you are looking at a risk conversion trade. Now, copper certainly has been benefiting. You can see here pushed higher ever since it held this, but you are coming into resistance and turbulence now at this zone, so watch out for risk off and watch out for further weakness in copper as well. If you bring up a chart of oil, you can clearly see here the oil price certainly has started to languish and certainly has moved down on the daily chart. 60 minute chart certainly flushing here as well. There is some support around this zone, but that certainly has been breached and now looking to potentially move down to the 51 zone. So certainly looking weak. Very hard to argue for the uh, bullish side. Okay, so in terms of equities, given the fact that commodities are weak, you are looking at the FTSE being weak, okay? And uh, S&P certainly has held at 2278 uh, resistance and therefore you're looking for risk aversion, okay? Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus and also visit TradeSignal app and download. Goodbye now, folks.